Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, we're going to be talking about installing Ableton Live Lite. Now, Ableton Live Lite comes included with the M-Audio Oxygen Pro line, including the Oxygen Pro Mini. And I'm actually in a hotel room right now traveling for work. And the thing I love about the Oxygen Pro Mini is I can throw it in my suitcase and bring it with me. So today I've had a lot of requests for um, Ableton Live Lite. How do you use the Oxygen Pro Mini with Ableton Live Lite? And so because it comes included, it includes MPC Beats and Ableton Live Lite. It used to include Pro Tools First Edition. They got rid of that. And so now it's just MPC Beats and Ableton Live Lite. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on showing you how to locate and install Ableton Live Lite, where to get the activation code for it that comes included with the Oxygen Pro Mini. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my next video where I'm gonna talk about actually setting up the Oxygen Pro Mini with Ableton Live Lite once it's installed, getting everything connected and how the controls work and all of that. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. But jumping over to the computer, the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the Oxygen Pro Mini is plugged into the computer, which is gonna turn it on. There's no on off switch on the Oxygen Pro Mini. We just plug it in and that turns it on. Once we've got that, we're gonna open up the M-Audio Software Manager. Now, if you're brand new, you just bought this and you're jumping in at this point, I've got a lot of videos on my channel going into detail on how to register and get set up with the Software Manager. Essentially, the code or the serial number is on the back of the Oxygen Pro Mini. Create an M-Audio account, register the Oxygen Pro Mini with M-Audio, and download the Software Manager. This is going to bring us to this software manager here. And if we scroll down a little bit in the app section, of course we have MPC Beats, and then we have Ableton Live Lite. Now if we open that up, Ableton Live Lite gives you 600 megabytes of drum loops, music loops, and samples. Ableton's fast intuitive workflows. If you've ever worked with Ableton or you've seen people use it, it's great for live use. Uh, creative sound design and processing with impulse and sampler instruments, studio effects including EQ, compression, blah, 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 blah. So Ableton Live Lite, let's go ahead and talk about getting that, locating it and getting the activation code, installing it onto the computer. So we have this get activation code link here. If we click on that, it says your activation codes are available from your M-Audio account. So we're gonna go over to the M-Audio account and this is again, assuming you've already created the M-Audio account and registered your Oxygen Pro. It's gonna open up in the browser and it's gonna ask you to either create an account or sign in. I'm gonna sign in with my existing account and we're brought to our account page. Once you're there, click on the My Products link and that's gonna take you over to the My Products section where you can download any firmware updates. You can see the different tutorials that M-Audio has for it. And if we scroll down, you're gonna see a section for software. So MPC Beats and Ableton Live 10 Lite. So on this one here, we have our authorization code or our activation code right here. And I've got this blanked out so you can't actually see it, but on yours, you should see a code there. We also have these redemption instructions. So if we click on this link here, it opens up a PDF and it talks about how to get a copy of Ableton Live Lite. Most importantly is this how to get started. We're gonna take this link right here and we're gonna copy that. We're gonna open a new tab in our browser. We're gonna paste that and we're just going to hit enter on our keyboard. So basically it says in the instructions to download and install the latest version, launch it, and then it's gonna ask you for the serial number, which is gonna be that activation code back on the My Products page. So over here in this tab, getting started with Live 11 Lite, which is back when this first came out, it was 10, now it's 11. So we're gonna go ahead and download the 64-bit, automatically set it to uh, what my computer is. If you're on Mac, obviously you're gonna download the Mac version. We're gonna click on Download. That's gonna ask us where we wanna put that. I'm gonna go down and put it into my D drive, Downloads. We're gonna save that and it's gonna go ahead and download. That's about 2.6 gigabytes of download. So we're gonna let that go ahead and do its thing. All right, so now that it's finished downloading, we can see down here, it's finished up. We wanna move over to the directory we downloaded it into. One way you can do this, depending on your browser, is you can click on the little arrow next to the downloads. 
and you can do show in folder or you can just go to your folders and find your download folder where you put it. I'm just going to do show in folder. That's going to open this up and what we're going to do is this is a zip file. We're going to right click on this zip file and we have to extract it because this is a compressed file. So we're going to do extract all. If you've got 7-zip or something like that in external zip software, you can use that. But this is the Windows extract all function. Works perfectly. I'm going to leave the box checked that says show extracted files when completed. I'm going to click extract. It's going to go through the extraction process and decompress this zip file so we can actually get access to the exe where we install Ableton Live Lite. And once that's finished extracting, it's going to open up with the extracted files. What we're going to do here is we're going to double click on this Ableton Live 11 Lite installer.exe. That's going to open up this window and we're going to click the install button. It's going to give you a security prompt asking you if you want to install and you click yes. And then it's going to go through and it's going to walk through the setup process. And then we're presented with the setup wizard. So click next. We're going to accept the license agreement. If you want to read through that, you can scroll through it here. When you're done, click next. Then we are asked what the destination folder should be. In my case, I don't have enough room in my C drive, so I'm going to install this in my D drive. So I'm going to go here and copy this latter portion here. And then we're going to go up to our D drive here, programs, and then I'm going to paste that in there. And it'll create those for me. I'm going to click OK. And then when we're returned back, click on the Next button and click Install. This is going to go through the installation process for Ableton Live. 11 light. Again, you could have left that destination URL in the C drive if you have enough space for that. But in my case, it requires a, between four and five gigabytes to install. And unfortunately, because of a lot of stuff I'm doing, my C drive is mainly taken up and I only had three gigs available. So we're going to let this go through its installation process on the D drive. That should be fine. Now this whole process can take a while, so make yourself a cup of coffee. I'm gonna fast forward through these parts so we can move on to the next part of the video. And once the installation's complete, we get this page here that says that it's completed the setup wizard and click finish to exit the setup wizard. And then we see a little screen here, a prompt that says installation successfully completed. Click on the close button. And now we've successfully installed Ableton Live 11 Lite. Now we still need to activate it. To do that first, we're gonna go over to our browser. We're gonna go back over to our M Audio page where we have Ableton Live 10 Lite software and it lists the authorization code. Now copy that by highlighting it and then uh, right clicking copy or control C and it copies that to your clipboard. So now that we've done that, we can access Ableton Live by going to our start menu and we should see right here in recently added, we see it there. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. If it didn't show up, you could always type Ableton, and you see in your apps, Ableton Live Lite is right there. So you can click on it there as well. So now that we've clicked on that, it's gonna go through its little process here to initialize the application, getting the first session set up, and then we get this welcome screen. It says, welcome to Ableton Live 11 Lite. Please take a moment to authorize your software. If you're connected to the internet, simply click here. So we can click here, we can authorize later, or we can do no internet on this computer. So we're gonna click on authorize with ableton.com. And it's gonna open up with the login or register page for ableton.com. So I don't have an Ableton account, so I'm gonna to have to go ahead and create one. If you already have an Ableton account, you can log in right here. And then once you've created your account and logged in or just logged into your existing account, you're gonna get brought over to your licenses page automatically. This is where we're going to register a product. So click on the register a product link. 
and it's asking you for a registration code. Again, you can find that over here on the M Audio My Products page of your M Audio account. And it's this authorization code for Ableton Live 10 Lite. Again, you can copy that and then go over to here and paste. And then you're gonna click the submit button. This now shows that we have a Live 11 Lite license here and we need to authorize our computer for this process. To do this, we're gonna go back out of our browser and we're gonna click on this authorize with ableton.com again. And when that opens up, we're gonna click on open Ableton Live 11 Lite and it automatically kept us logged in. So what we did there is we just closed our browser after we added the license and then clicked on that authorize again through Ableton Live, which brought the browser back up and kind of jogged its memory. So now if we go back over to Ableton Live Lite, it says you've successfully authorized Live. Thank you and have fun. We're gonna click OK, and we're gonna let it do any sort of loading that it needs to do. Um, but essentially, this is it. We've installed Ableton Live Lite, and we've used the authorization code that comes included with the Oxygen Pro Mini. So again, this video is specifically focused on where to find Ableton Live Lite when you've got the Oxygen Pro Mini or the Oxygen Pro line, and then how to install that onto your computer and then how to activate that. So a quick recap here is, number one, you need to make sure you register the Oxygen Pro or the Oxygen Pro Mini with M Audio. Create that account. That'll give you the authorization code for Ableton Live Lite. Then you go and download Ableton Live Lite, install it onto your computer, and then you're going to open that up and it's gonna ask you to authorize it. You're gonna to go to the Ableton Live website. You're gonna create an account on the Ableton website. And then you're gonna authorize, use that authorization code from M Audio, and you're gonna put that in and register that with Ableton. Then you come back over to Ableton Live, reauthorize it, and it's gonna make that connection to your account and it's gonna authorize that software. Again, this was specifically focused on installing Ableton Live Lite. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my next video coming out on how to set up the Oxygen Pro Mini with Ableton Live Lite and just a quick getting started video. For those of you who are brand new in computer music, you wanna to get to know um, how to record, how to do some live stuff. That'll be geared more towards that, getting you rolling within Ableton Live Lite. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.